Rescue me, rescue me, rescue me. For the last time, we're down here at the San Luis Obispo Shelter, and um, we have cats and dogs to show you, And but it's a little bit different today. Well, it's different, Deborah, because this is, <laughs> this is the final show. We're not kidding about this. Sometimes we say, oh, you know, things are bad down here. We're going to have to do whatever we have to do, but this is the last show, no kidding, and it has been... 18 years exactly to today, on the 23rd of April in 2000, we aired our first show. And so here we are at the 23rd of April and we are filming our last show. So we have come 18 years. This is my baby. Rescue Me has been my baby for 18 years and that number 18 seems like the right time to let your baby go. Of course, ASAP Animal Shelter Adoption Partners, which we have, we, we have created as our nonprofit to help the animals, will continue. So we are going to be here working with the animals continuously. But Rescue Me will no longer be available, not even in reruns, because <laughs> people have suggested, well, why don't you do some reruns? And we say, well, you know, those dogs are just not available anymore. So this is our last show. The animals you see here today are the ones that are needing your homes. Also, Deborah, we want to say that the things we want to accent, the things we've always been accenting, nothing has changed. We want you to adopt. Number one, helping the animals is adoption. So a couple of things we want to mention, Deborah, to make sure people are left with these ideas that we have been talking about time and time again. Number one, adopt. Don't shop. We have wonderful animals down here, best pets shop in the county, and if you come down here and find an animal, you are truly saving a life. That's absolutely true. Number two, what do you think about putting an ID on that pet once you adopt it, Deborah? I think you should truly consider it. It might be a good idea. It might be that your animal will get picked up or found by a neighbor or a good Samaritan and actually get brought home to you, or you could get a phone call and you would not have to come down to animal services to sometimes pay a fine to get that dog or just to come you know be scared for a while while you can't find your dog so or your cat so please have id have a microchip have something something that helps you get a collar with a home. sharpie marker yes. write it on the collar yes. your animal will come back to you so number one you adopt an animal from the shelter number yes. two you put an id on that pet number three how about spay neuter excellent <laughs> idea Excellent idea. I hope this is catching on. I it's hope it is. Best all of our animals spay and neuter. All of our animals go home spayed and neutered, but I know there are a lot of animals out there that we collect that are not spayed or neutered. And that will really put an end to the overpopulation of animals. No animal will need to be euthanized. All animals will have home. That is my true desire forever. And, and, it's, and, and there are medical benefits to spaying and neutering yes. as well. So it's, it's, it's generally a win-win for everybody to, to spay and neuter. Okay, then if you can't do any of those things because your living situation does not allow you to have a pet, why not come down here and volunteer and help these homeless animals and help the other volunteers who are working very hard down here year after year. Deborah, how long have you been doing this? Over 14 years. Over 14 years. And we have many, many of our uh, volunteers in the double digits of service. So if you come down here, they can take a break, put their feet up a little bit <laughs> and relax. I'd and like not worry so much. Lolling around for a while. <laughs> Lolling around. That's, watch other people, you know, That's what do we want to do. So maybe yeah. they could put their feet up, take a little rest while newer volunteers come down here and take part of the part in the joy that really is at this shelter. People say, oh, it's such a hard place to be. Well, it really isn't. It really, there really is so much joy down here. Deborah, there would you is. agree? I would absolutely agree. And I, and I just want to say, just because Rescue Me is ending with this show, the shelter's not, the work continues. We continue on, the animals will still be here. This is the only shelter in the county where strays are brought. This is the only shelter in the county where you can bring your pet and relinquish it and know they'll take it. So it's important, we're not going away. The shelter's not going away. These animals aren't going away, although we do hope, you know, they get adopted, <laughs> so they rotate through, but we will still be here and the work will continue. Yes, back to our points. We want you to adopt. We want you to then put an ID on your pet. Spay and neuter is very important. Volunteering, we need your help down here. And if you can't do any of that, write a check. We can always use your funds to help these animals while they're at this shelter to make their lives better while they're here before they get their forever home. So 
We thank you very much for watching us over the years and really supporting our efforts. But now we need to talk about Miss Fiona. Who is so cute and has been so patient. Yes. Um, she's a darling little girl. She's about nine years old. Uh, she will get the $35 rebate because she is a little bit of an older dog, although very perky, very happy, and has lots of life left in her. Uh, she needs uh, an understanding owner. She's a little bit fearful in some situations, but with the people that she knows, she, she's very loving, very sweet, uh, very nice little lap dog, and she really likes other dogs a lot too. So there is all kinds of things to recommend this sweet little girl. So if you are interested in this very darling little girl, please come down and meet her. ID number 223-854. I gotta tell you, I love this dog. Look at that face. That is a great face. This is eight-year-old um, Knuckles, <laughs> and his owner couldn't keep him anymore, which made me very sad, and the, the dog he was turned in with got adopted already, so here sweet Knuckles is, just hanging out, um, and by th th apparently this guy really likes cats. He's, he's really into kitties, and in a good way, so if you've got a cat at home, Knuckles would like to join your household. I bet he grew up with a kitten or something like that. I bet he did. Usually that Bless happens. His heart. Bless his heart. So this is Knuckles, and he his ID number is two two four zero zero five. Well, I'm not sure, but Pepper might be our longest residing dog. Which, if that is so, it makes me sad. She would she's she probably pre would prefer to be the only dog in the home. Um, she prefers people certainly to other dogs, but she is such a wonderful, sweet girl. We love her so much. She's lost a ton of weight when she came in. She was really overweight. Lost all kinds of weight. She's looking great, and she's looking for that person that just wants their own dog to watch TV with, walk around with, and have a great time. Pepper's ID. Oh, and half of her adoption fee is paid, by the way, folks. That will save you more than 50 bucks on the adoption. And she's been here three months. That's she way has. long time to spend here. Yes, that's mm. no good. No good. ID number 222-502. This is Pepper. Well, this little girl's got one of the cutest faces going. This is little Sadie. She's another nine-year-old. That's just a darling dog, loves people, prefers people to other animals, so she would prefer to be the only pet in the household. But she's such a wonderful little pocket-sized girl, just loves affection, just an all-around good little dog that just wants to be the only dog in the home. And half of her adoption fee is paid as well. So we're motivated to get her into a good home. She's showing us all of her markings, being a Red Merle Queensland and some Blue Merle in there too. She is a mixture of all kinds of cattle dog in there. She's gonna get you noticed that one. She is, mm -hmm. her ID is 223-424, little Sadie. There are a couple of television shows on right now that feature Huskies, including Game of Thrones and there's something else, I forget what it is. And so Huskies are filling up animal shelters in California mm. and probably other places as well. And we have had a huge run on Huskies and this is a beauty. This is Simon. He's only about two years old. What can you say? He's handsome, mm. he's active, he's mm. smart. Um, he's just an all around really young, healthy dog that needs a probably an active home. Look at one brown eye, one blue. He's really rocking it there. That is a great looking dog. So if you want to meet Simon, this beautiful Husky and get yourself noticed out on a walk or a run or a bike mm. ride, come on down and meet him. ID number 223740. Now this is a great looking dog. Another one with one blue eye and one brown eye. I tell you, no one will pass up looking at that dog. He's gorgeous. His name is Prince. And um, we think he's, I don't know, hound, catahoula, some kind of mixture of something, but he sure is great looking. Um, so if you want to meet a very handsome three-year-old boy, come on down here and meet him. ID number 224095. Okay, everybody out there with a high fence, come down and meet Odie. He can jump a six-footer, apparently. Look at those legs. <laughs> I know. Are you he kidding? is the cutest thing ever. He's super affectionate. He's beautiful. He's a great size. You just got to be able to keep him in, which I say just make, sh make his home life so dang happy. He won't want to jump your fence. But look at that sweet he's thing. He's a doll. He's gorgeous. Well, he's just showing off the fact that he can jump I, a six foot fence, right? I think he is. He was trying to impress people and so they turned him in. It's just unfair. Uh, uh. Uh, all around really beautiful little dog, Odie. Two, Only two, two years old. I know, he's a baby. He's a baby. Two, two, three, five, zero, zero. Ooh, this is a beauty tea. Look at that gorgeous oh shepherd. My goodness. And he's just sitting there like he's so practiced he, at this, he right? He is. He's only two years old. I think he's a pretty new arrival. He just came in on the 21st of April. So you would think someone would be looking for this baby. 
But if they don't, he's up for adoption. So come on down and take a look at this beautiful two-year-old shepherd. ID number 224141. You know, I'm thinking somebody cropped this dog's ears, this mini pin's ears, to make it look like a, a Doberman, Doberman pincher, which is a strange thing to do. But uh, he can carry it off. He looks kind of he looks kind of adorable with those cropped ears. I'm sure he's used to it by now. I know he's about nine years old, so he gets the um, senior rebate, which means you get thirty five dollars back on the adoption fee if you adopt this little sweetheart. Um, very nice. His, his owner was moving, so he had to turn him in. So, bummer. He finds himself down here at nine years old, but he's a nice little dog. Seems to be fine with other dogs or generally okay with other dogs. So, you know, come meet this sweet little guy. Oh, look at how his lips all caught up on his tooth. That's too cute. <laughs> ID number 177610. This is Pepe. Great set of ears on this one. Look at that little guy. This is Bojangles. He's about seven. And his, his owners could no longer keep him, or actually his owner passed away. Oh, bummer. Um, poor little guy finds himself down here. You know, that is, that is such a hard thing for dogs when their owner passes away and they find themselves down here. So Mr. Bojangles needs someplace to live out the rest of his life, which was probably another 12 years or so. And something as cute as that is going to get adopted fast. His ID number is 933782. This is Bojangles. Oh my gosh, I tell you, a forehead like that just, just kills me. Look at that little sweet, worried forehead. This baby was picked up in Paso. She looks like she's fairly recently had puppies. So what a cruddy thing to be abandoned after you've had puppies. That just kind of sucks. Hopefully someone's looking for her, but probably not. And at three years old, she now deserves to live the rest of her life baby free, puppy free, happy spoiled she should get to be the baby in the family now well deborah we will spay her and so she yes, will not be will. having any more She's babies not going to have to do this anymore no so sometimes a dog winds up here or a cat winds up here and it's better for them in the long run so for anyone who's been listening to me do this show for the last i don't know six or eight years however long i've been doing this you know i love these dogs more than anything they're the underdogs of the dog world these little pitties they don't deserve the crap they get they deserve good homes and loving families, and including this. Well, here's another beautiful two-year-old shepherd. This one brought in from Paso Robles um, on the 21st of the month. So someone is missing two beautiful shepherds, and they're down here waiting for new homes, and they're awfully nice dogs, and they are beautiful dogs. If no one comes to claim this guy, we're going to call him Duncan, and his ID number is 224142. He is a loving lap dog, so it had to have been a very sad thing for them to leave this dog with us here. He's just two years old. He's just a baby American bulldog um, just a you know just a sweetie lovey kissy darling dog that now needs a new home he knows some tricks and um, he just really wants to be your pal this dog is gonna make your day he if you is. have this dog this is just a happy go lucky dog and that tails just wagging and oh my goodness look at the happiness on that face wow. life to him is great life get out of here good. it'll be better 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 all yes. right mad max out ID you go. number 224015 come adopt me he's saying come on this is lucy and she's another one of our longer residing dogs she deserves to get out of here too she's just three years old she's very active very fun um you know she's she's house trained she's good on the leash she loves to play ball she loves fetch um, you she's know, got quite she's, a resume. She does. And half of her adoption fee is paid, so we want to get her out of here, get her into a nice home. She's sweet, she's kissy, and she wants to go home. ID number 207106. This is Lucy. Oh, this is Suki. She's been here a while, too. She's another one that needs to get out of here. She looks like she's a Weimaraner mix or something like that. She's very easy to walk. She seems to be house trained. Um, she's very affectionate, so she just needs somebody to come down and take her home and be her best buddy. Well, now she's wearing that Adopt Me bandana, so I think she's serious about it now. I think that's going to do it. Like Along with having half of her adoption fee paid, oh. that's going to help too. So, if you want a dog that's not going to cost you a tremendous amount to take home and you can take all that money and spend it on toys and beds and food and stuff, come meet Suki. ID number 962680. Well, he looks sad, doesn't he, T? Yes, he does. This is one of our sad cases of the day. It is. He just got brought to the shelter today. His folks are moving and they can't take him. And at nine years old, finds himself down here. This is Garo, and he just looks heartbroken. And I just want to go over there and hug him and tell him everything's going to be okay. And I, I think it's going to be. Somebody should adopt this sweet boy. 
Um, we don't know a whole lot about him yet, but he seems really nice. Seems pretty quiet, subdued, nine years old, still has a lot of life left, but should be at that age where he's really well behaved and just, you know, needs a retirement home. And we're going to put half adoption fee on him today. Oh, I think that's important I that think, he gets yes. that benefit. I, I agree with you 100%. That's a great thing that ASAP does is pay some half adoption fees on some of these dogs. Garrow's ID number is 166218. Somebody come down here and make this dog's day or week or the rest of his life and make him happy, please. And it'll make our day if it'll that make happens. Our day. I mean, it is so you get attached to these dogs and cats, and when they get out and get their forever home, it's like, wow. It is like party time. It's party time. It's Christmas, New Year's, everything at once. Yes, it is. Good luck, Garrow. You're going to get a home. Oh, this dog looks a lot like one I owned many years ago and was just so crazy in love with. And so Lonnie has a special place in my heart. He's just a really neat dog. He's volunteer's pick. I might have had something to do with that. I'm not sure. Yay. Um, but that means half of his adoption fee is paid. Look at that lover. Well, look, why he's, wouldn't he be uh, volunteer's pick? He's gorgeous. He's sweet. And let me say, you know, he apparently in his former life lived outside all the time. Somebody bring, adopt this boy, bring him inside, teach him the glories of the, the sofa, the, the rug in front of the TV, the fire, you know. His just own bed. His own bed, his own toys inside, and just the, the, the beauties of living with a dog. And there's thousands of f wonderful things about living with a sweet dog. He's about, um, I guess he's about eight years old, so he's, you know, got Gosh, he doesn't look he, at I eight. thought he was about wow. three, but he's at that perfect age, well-behaved and sweet. Wow. Volunteers pick Lonnie. Yay. ID number 925821. Oh, what he's a sweet, some kind sweet of fun, face. this guy. You know he will be. Did I mention we've been getting a, a lot of Huskies around here lately? Wow. Uh, this is kind of my, my favorite of the Husky group right now. This is Charlie. Uh, he's just about two years old. Half of his adoption fee is paid. You know, it's kind of the same story. He's two years old. He's young. He's active. He needs, you know, these, these type of dogs are really smart and they like to be active. So, you know, they're generally not couch potatoes so much. So if you want, a, if you're going to take long walks or be dedicated to some hikes or some, you know, bike rides or at least long walks, uh, these Huskies can be fantastic play pals. They're just really great companions. Charlie's ID number is 218-389. We love him a lot, and half of that adoption fee is paid, so he's also a bargain with a beautiful tail. And if you like to pet a dog, they're great to run your fingers yes. through that run fur. run your fingers oh, through yes. that fur. Oh, yes. So wonderful. And look at those blue eyes and just be entranced. Yes. <laughs> well, there's a face. This little guy was picked up in Los Osos today, the 23rd of April. I would think someone's looking for him. He sure is cute. Um, he's very high energy. He's kind of a handful, but he sure is cute. He's, we think he's about four years old. His ID number is 224148. This is crazy little Los Osos dude. He doesn't have a name yet, but we'll get him one. Here is another beautiful shepherd mix with those gorgeous blue eyes. We have some stunning looking dogs down here right now. This is Chase. He's uh, only about nine months old now, so he's still got a little growing to do. Um, but he's going to be a beautiful dog. We're working on a little bit of training down here. Um, he's just a baby. You can see those pearly whites in there. Beautiful blue eyes. Chase's ID number 223114. Still just a baby. Oh, look at that little girl. We think this little doggy is just about three months old. She was found in Paso Robles, Kenton Court. She is just adorable. I hope someone's out looking for this little girl. If not, we're going to name her Georgia, but we're not going to do that yet. Not until she's been here a few more days. But look at that little cutie pie. Her ID number is 224140. Oh, what's not to love? Oh, goodness gracious. Look at those paws. She got some growing to do. Everybody loves this dog. She is really sweet. She's good on the leash. She loves to play in the activity yard and just run around and play and be goofy. Uh, she's just about two years old, so she's young. We think she's maybe Malinois. But she's gorgeous, beautiful black mask there on her face. We're just, we really like this girl. Her ID number is 223803. This is Sweet Anna. Beautiful little Queensland or Queensland mix here. We think she's just about two years old. She was found on Almond Drive in Paso Robles on the 21st of April. Uh, she seems like a really nice dog, so I would think someone would be down here looking for her. But she's beautiful and striking, and I think she's going to make someone a wonderful companion. Her ID number is 224143. 
Well, this is Carly. She is just about seven years old. It's kind of a lab shepherd mix. She's going through the PAW school training right now. So she's learning some obedience and getting some training and learning to be good on the leash and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, beautiful brown eyed girl. I think this is Rescue Me's last dog. So Carly, congratulations. You are closing the show, baby. Yay. Yay. So if you want to meet Carly, please come down and meet this pretty girl. ID number 181. 053. And remember, we want you to adopt, don't shop. When you adopt, put the ID on your pet. Always spay and neuter. Tell all your friends spay and neuter. Most important. If you can't do any of that, come down here and volunteer with us. We'd really love to see you. And if all else fails, give us money. We can <laughs> use it on our animals down here. Yes, we can use some money. It's been Always. a great run. I want to thank everybody who has worked with us over the years. And there have been many people that we have worked with, especially Larry Kahn, who has devoted so many years to the service of animals and was on the very first show with us year after year and year after year on Rescue Me. So really round of applause for Larry Kahn, Yay. who's not with us today. And all of the animals at the shelter who are the true stars of, and always have been of Rescue Me, they are the feature. And so we move on to the cats. Yep, this is the last time we're gonna be showing you any cats. But hey, this shelter is open. We've got a website. There'll be many, many ways for you to be able to see our animals. But most of all, come down here and see them in person. We are looking at Queen here. She is one of the favorites of the volunteers. Such a favorite, in fact, that they chipped in and put half her adoption fee on her. So if you fall in love with her, you can adopt her for half price. That's just $40. Her ID number is 223353. She is a beautifully marked orange on white with a tabby tail. She's going to get you noticed, that's for sure. She is queen. She is truly a queen. Her ID number is 223353. And as we've been telling you, this is the best pet store in the county. Meet Elizabeth Swan. What's different about her? She is a Scottish Fold. I don't think in the 18 years we've been doing this show that we've had three Scottish Folds, and she is one. Also, she's a polydactyl. That means her paws have more um, toes than the usual. This is Elizabeth Swan. Not a she is ID number 224112. And if you fall in love with her, uh, you got yourself a Scottish Fold. That's Elizabeth Swan 224112. Hey, Carl. What's up? Our next cat is Carl. He is a gray on white, almost a gray and white tuxedo. He is a bit of a long hair. He's just about five years old, and his ID number is 223716. He's a handsome boy. That's Carl, 223716. Next up, we have Zane. Now, Zane is a little bit shy. He's just about five months old, but volunteers are really, really, really bringing him out of his shell. At first, when he came here, you couldn't even pick him up, but now the volunteers can get him out of the cage, they can put him on their lap, they can pet him, they can groom him. And this is where you can come in. Volunteering down here with us is a really important thing for you to do for yourself and the animals. If you happen to like animals, cats or dogs, you would be surprised at how these animals respond to human touch. And once a shy dog or a shy cat, timid cats and dogs get your hands on them, they come around so quickly and then they get adopted. So if you've got any time on your hands, please, please, please come down here and check out our volunteer program. I think you'll love our other volunteers. You can make some friends and you can do an animal some good. Right now, it would be good to get Zane out of here. He is ID number 223736. He's just about five months old and he is a doll. 223736, Zane. I just love the look of this cat. I love big, handsome boys. And this is a rascal. He is um, just about six years old. You have to come down and get him out of his cage to see how he is marked. It doesn't look like he has any markings, but he has a variety of fur colors from black to like an auburn. It's beautiful. ID number 224050. 
I don't know what it is with our gray cats. We have an inventory this go round, but we've got Smokey here, and Smokey is also a shy cat, but he also is coming around. In fact, the volunteers like this cat so much that they designated him the volunteer pick of the month of April. That's right. Half adoption fee is waived if you adopt Smokey, and he has improved the most from when he came in here being so shy and timid to now being able to be held and petted and loving the lap. So the next step for him is into a home. Maybe that can be yours. ID number 223999, Smokey, the volunteer pick of the month, half adoption fee paid. 223999. And say hi to Ashley. She is black and white as you, white as you can see. She's very, very friendly. The minute you open her cage, she wants to come out and meet and greet. So this gal is ready to go. She doesn't need a lot of socialization. It seems she's been very socialized somewhere, though I don't know where. She is a stray. She is about four years old. Her ID number is 224085. So if you want a cat that's ready to go, come on down and meet Ashley. 224085. Hey Tyrone, look this way. This is Tyrone, and as you can see, since he is in the sun, that he is a beautiful auburn color, not black. He is ID number 224039, and he is a senior, so that qualifies him for our senior rebate. That means you get $35 back if you adopt Tyrone. All seniors get that rebate because we want to send them out with their owner with a little discount in our appreciation. So consider Tyrone. 224039, a big, handsome fella. Well, this is a cat. Now, I promise you, this is a cat. It is a Scottish fold. This is Hedge. We call him Hedge because he looks a little bit like a hedgehog. His ID number is 224144. He's just about five years old, and he is a Scottish fold. And as I've told you, in my 18 years here doing this filming, I have seen a Scottish Fold rarely, maybe one, two, or three times, and now we've got two of them. Consider Hedge, 224144. He's going to get you noticed, and there's gonna be a lot of talk about him, I am sure. Hedge, 224144. Well, here's our first tabby of the day. Usually we have a whole lot of tabbies, but not today. Today we have our first tabby's name is Nikki, and she is a classic tabby as I can see. ID number 224060, she is a senior, so she qualifies for the senior rebate as well. That's $35 back to you if you adopt Nikki. 224060, a regular tabby. 224060, Nikki. Here we have Rocky, and Rocky is a black and white cat, as you can see. He's just about a year old, and he is ID number 223970. Once again, Rocky is one of our shy cats that volunteers have been working with to bring him out of his shell and his shyness, and it's working. ID number 223970, it's Rocky. Rocky. 